Why are we continuing to deprioritize those vaccinations? And of course, we move, you know, we're moving to phase two, and I'm very concerned. State Senator Mary Washington voicing concerns about the decline in daily vaccinations of Maryland's elderly population. Data shows 30% of this vulnerable population is still not vaccinated against COVID-19. I'm pretty convinced based on what I've seen now that the community doctors are the pathway to getting a lot of these folks vaccinated. We've been partnering with Secretary Kramer with the Department of Aging we're organizing vaccination clinics in the vulnerable areas. Acting Health Secretary Dennis Schrader addressed the issue in front of the Senate Vaccine Oversight Work Group Monday. A lot of concern about leaving the elderly behind once eligibility opens up starting this week and overwhelming the system with demand. We're pretty confident that based on we are where we are, that uh, by this slowly step-by-step -step opening to A, B, and C, that uh, we're, we'll be able to, you know, control the valve. And we're watching our pre-registration numbers. By using the pre-registration system that we set up now, we have the ability to figure out who's in line and then manage the appointments based uh, using that technique. Schrader updated their efforts to ensure equal access to the vaccine. New mobile units capable of giving 160 shots per day. New grant money for community-based vaccination initiatives led by hospitals and targeting vaccines to primary care providers. Based on their connection to largely African-American and Hispanic communities, in areas with less geographic access to vaccination sites. And the good news, Schrader says within the next couple of weeks, they expect to get 300 to 400,000 doses of vaccine a week. He says the state can handle upwards of 500,000 a week through the many channels they've established. We're very confident that as we get more vaccine, we're, we're ahead of the curve and able, in, in being able to uh, do more vaccines every day. Schrader says the governor has given them the goal of reaching 100,000 shots per day. Right now, they're doing about half that. Reporting live downtown, Kim Dacey, WBAL-TV 11 News.